Hey guys, it's a History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. But where we last left off, nobody really knows what we were doing, because nobody could hear me. Fairly confident I've got the recording issues all sorted out. So let me give you a rundown of what happened last time. So, we finished off the Gibraltar supply route by pegging just one other ship up there. And, um, then, who? excuse me, we, um... Shuffled all the way down here to Freetown. Now, why are we going all the way down to, you know, the middle of Africa? If we take a look at these next two missions, there's no uh, mission area. It's just a line. And if we take a look at how these um, Winston Special Convoys come from down in uh, Kapstadt there, I come all the way on up to Freetown, and then move along this way to get to where they're going. Uh, you know, Europe. So, I'm thinking, if this line is accurate, and I understand that this game doesn't necessarily make the lines accurate. I get that. So, there's, there's a possibility that no Winston Specials are going to be coming here. But you can see, pretty much right in the middle of the line... So hopefully something comes along our way. Uh, basically, my idea here, uh, you can see it is June the 23rd, and we have until December to do these missions. Um, I'm okay just spending a couple days basically laying siege to Freetown and uh, waiting, for a Winston, <laughs> waiting for a Winston special to come by. Of course. Um, that's, you know, long, drawn out, and boring. And uh, I guess we don't really need to go down. We are on the surface. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, they're, they're just there's the potential that something's going to come by. There's the potential that nothing will. What we could also do is go all the way down to uh, Kapstadt here to do a little bit of um, Winston special hunting. Although, I mean, it's a bit of a sail. It says that it's only 6,000 kilometers. I guess that is a long way. <clears throat> Would you say it out loud? It's only 6,000 kilometers. I'm not sure I could make it back. And with the Milch Cow submarines only working in the North Atlantic and only working in certain areas, getting a resupply is impossible. The last thing I want to do is have Guntram von Babenberg and the crew of the Defiance stranded in uh, South Africa. It's not a good way to end your career. So, um... Yeah, basically, we're just going to be laying siege to Freetown, waiting a couple of days. I don't know, I might push it to the 28th, or something like that, just just waiting to see if something comes by. Five days, something should come by, am I right, yes, Dieter? I, I thought so. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to do that, and I'll be back when I've got something exciting. I also do have to apologize, um, because of a slightly tighter schedule. I'm going to be eating my breakfast while I'm recording this. Uh, I hope everything will work out fine, but there's a potential that I'll get caught um, with some big chunks of muffin in my mouth and have to record. Forewarned, and please accept my most humblest apologies if that happens. Who knows, it could be entertaining. We'll see! Anyway, we'll see you guys when I got some ships to shoot at. See you in a bit. Alright, so, we've caught up with a lone freighter. Dieter? Man, Get Max on the deck gun. gun. We are in <clears throat> shallow waters, Captain. He's going 13 knots, which is a pretty intense clip. This guy's definitely in a hurry. Uh, we're up to full speed ahead, so we should be able to catch him. Going 19. It's just a little bit quicker. And, um, yeah, considering the speed, I'm not sure if this guy's a Winston ship or not. But... Um... We're going to get close, see if we can't sink it. It is headed for Freetown, at least I'm fairly confident it's headed for Freetown. It certainly looks like it is. And there are about four destroyers that I know of escorting this port. Put up, escorting the port. So, <clears throat> I'd like to get there. Or, I'd like to get <clears throat> within firing range. And, um, putting holes in this ship. How far out is it? And we can start. We can start. It's about 5,600... <clears throat> or 5.6 kilometers out. We can probably do this. Let's get into the proper... 
Like, that seems a bit too far, guys. And let's see how that shot's doing. A little bit far. So we'll turn that down. <clears throat> we are in shallow water. Just get a bit better. Now, it is very, very shallow here. So, um, diving down is a bit of a concern. But, as long as we don't draw the attention of the escorts, we should be okay. And as long as we don't take some return fire as well, there's always that key little point when hunting freighters. Yeah, just keep pegging them. Go ahead and leave the gun. Max, you should be able to take over. That is your job, after all. I'm just a captain. Although it is fun we to pull the trigger every now and then. Captain. Let's investigate. Have we done any damage? Because we should have been hitting them. According to the minimap. Granted, I'm zoomed out to three, three kilometers, so... Whether we hit them or not, not entirely sure. There doesn't appear to be any damage. We were lobbing high explosives, <clears throat> which, um, you know, generally have a tendency to be a little explosive. <laughs> Let's get closer. Come on, Max. There we go. Now you're shooting. <clears throat> Again, though, I mean, we're going really quick. We're far out. Max's aim isn't exactly the best, despite being fully upgraded. <laughs> fully upgraded like I freaking bought a car. The sport version of Max the Gunner. Um, let's put a turn in. Beautiful, that's what I'm talking about. You see, Max, that's, that's how you fire at ships. You aim. I'll turn that down just a little bit. We are in shallow yeah, waters, Captain. I'm aware, Dieter. Don't worry. We got, we got some work to do here, though. We'll do two more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think very many of these shots have actually hit. We know we've got a few. Of course, because of the explosions that we've seen. And I'm not even sure if this guy's a Winston special, which is kind of, you know, kind of the annoying thing. Oh! Uh, although, come on, man, your engine department. Department? Compartment. I guess it could be a department, too. The engine department. Uh, this guy's got to be really slowing down here, I would imagine. Yeah, we don't need to be going 19 knots. Slow speed ahead. Although, we will catch him much quicker. Now we'll get out of there. Max, keep firing. Get on deck and watch from up here. Come on, man. We got like a broadside shot on this. Nothing. Okay, Dieter. Yes, sir. Secure the deck. 
Well, let's get closer. We are in shallow waters, Captain. Pull that down. Move in on him. Now we can man the deck gun. We're much closer. Oh, jeez. Come on, Max. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Really? I mean, this guy's gotta be... Gotta be done for. Going nowhere, sir. There we have it. Freighter down. Doesn't look like it was a part of the Winston special. Good to know. Apparently any good old freighter could be. Frustrating thing is all that lost ordinance on a ship that really doesn't matter. So... Um, yeah. We are in shallow waters, Captain. Hmm. Well, we're going to need to get back into a better position. And it seems like, you know, I mean, unsurprisingly, they're not following this route exactly, because it certainly seems like they come in to Freetown through the shallows, so I would bet they're coming in around here, right? Because they're not going to be coming in along the coast. Uh, you're not going to sail right past a German port, but you certainly could come around Cape Verde and in that way. So I'm thinking if we sort of extrapolate, right, sort of out in this area here, we might be able to start seeing some... Uh, some convoys to sink. So what do you say we turn around, gents, and head in that direction? I'll be back with something, hopefully, a Winston special for you guys to see. And watch me sink. See you guys in a bit. Alright, so, I'm, basically, I'm getting bored of uh, the location that I have chosen. There's nothing coming through here. Granted, there hasn't been much time passed, but still, damn it, it's boring. So what I'm thinking is... Um, you know, obviously, if they're using Freetown as sort of a refueling point to get into Gibraltar or Great Britain, <clears throat> I've got to get there. And um, if they're heading this direction, well, I would like to snag them while they're sneaking out of port. Perhaps the better thing to do is to maybe drop down into this area where it's going to be a bit deeper and see if we can't hit them before they even get to Freetown. What a novel concept. If we take a look at our systems, we got tons of fuel tons of torpedoes we should be good to do this so um the only thing is we just we just want to make sure we avoid the patrols around freetown and hopefully they're not down here i don't think they will be find out so let's sort of go and take the um the sort of point. long way Course in one, eight, nine. and course. get ourselves yeah, positioned you know course. facing south because that's seven, the direction they nine. should be coming and then hopefully hopefully we'll be able to snag them as they come into port from a nice deep area where we can actually get under the water. Um, again, there is no airbase in Freetown, which makes things super nice. Uh, there is one over here. All right, we got, it looks like we got some hurricanes, some Beauforts, some mosquitoes, um, a Hudson. Don't know what a Hudson is. The Sunderland and the Wellington. So, there's a lot based there. Um, but, I'd like to see the range... We're out of range of them, which is all that really matters. I don't want to have to deal with British ships. British ships. If I don't want to have to deal with British ships, I shouldn't have joined the Kriegsmarine. No, I don't want to have to deal with uh, British Air Force. That's why I joined the Kriegsmarine, was to avoid planes and walking in mud. It's really the best option, all things considered. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to get ourselves into position. Hopefully we'll snag something soon. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so um, I've moved myself out here into the middle of the ocean. 
mainly because I was picking up a lot of radio contacts coming along here, and I figured, well, hey, maybe they're not, you know, sailing along the, um, the coast like some, you know, ancient galley of old. <clears throat> they could actually be, you know, moving like real modern day uh, sea transports, which are mainly in the sea. And uh, lo and behold, we've stumbled upon another little freighter. Just a single one. Just one freighter all by its lonesome. And we can see we were probably intimidating it just a little bit. Um, I'd be intimidated if all of a sudden a submarine popped up out of nowhere. But, um, you know, I'm not sure if this is a Winston special. I do believe they're convoys and not individual transports. And, you know, this guy's just a normal run-of-the-mill by itself freighter. So it might be a waste of ordnance to sink this guy. Um, but, I mean, on the other hand, we're at war, and we're a submarine, and that guy's a freighter. A freighter who, critically, isn't shooting back at us either. So... Yes, sir? No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that thing. There we go. Tracking new target! Still a ways out. But we are sneaking up on it, which is good. Um, I don't necessarily want to use the deck gun, well, mainly because of the ammunition. Although I guess torpedoes are more important than shells. And at this range, we shouldn't really miss. But uh, instead of giving the honor to Max, he gets to shoot quite a lot. I think I'm going to be taking it. Now, we're all out of high explosive rounds. So, I mean, that is going to be a bit of an issue. Basically, we're just going to be punching holes in this thing with uh, armor-piercing rounds. So, what I'm going to want to do is um, keep it nice and low. And uh, hopefully just punch enough holes in this guy to sink him. Looks like these rounds are impacting right on the waterline, which is what I want. And, uh, yeah, that's quite the fire in the engine room already. We'll plug about two more shells into this guy. I think that'll make 11 rounds in total. All right. So let's take a look. He's slowing down, so we can slow down. And no sort of listing yet. How's the damage looking? Doesn't look like there's any sort of visible damage other than the fire which we've started. Um, and, you know, starting fires, that's a good thing. Provided you want the ship to go down, if, you know want the ship to stay afloat, don't start a fire. We're just going to raise that up a little bit, see if we can't clear sh some of the ship's structure and start putting holes in other parts. But, um, you know, I would, I would imagine the engine room is not doing well, and the rear of the ship is probably already looking a bit like Swiss cheese. And there we go! She's down. Good work, guys. <clears throat> Let's cut our engines. I'll stop. Go take a look. Did any damage show up there? Nope. But this guy should slowly sink. Again, I don't think it's a Winston special ship, but we can easily find out. Nope. Didn't think so. 
So, <clears throat> two freighters down, none of them what we're looking for. I think it might be time to head to Dakar, resupply, and then go after these. Because, I mean, the missions are worth more, and quite frankly, we've probably got a better chance of um, sinking something. Let's make sure we're going to be avoiding all sorts of land, and we will be. Let's roll, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so that's the plan. We're going to refuel and then reposition up into the North Atlantic, and um, hopefully start getting ourselves some convoys out there. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so here's a new plan. I position myself off the coast of Ireland, mainly because if we take a look at the British supplies, they come through this square here, as does the Winston Specials. So pretty much anything coming through this square should be, um, you know, what we're looking to sink. We got a lot of radio contacts coming in and uh, basically a position to hopefully this guy is going to come in to range sooner than later you doing a little dance there Dieter all right you just do your thing buddy all right um yeah so it is daytime as you can see we're just gonna do the good old-fashioned hunting routine of staying at periscope depth throughout the, the day and uh, at night vent the co2 uh, if we have to do a little circle to charge up the batteries and um that should be it so hopefully something comes our way sooner than later and we'll have some targets to sink see you guys in a bit all right so we've drawn the attention of a flying boat so we're gonna try and uh Sink the flying boat. <laughs> That's one engine. Reload, reload, reload. That's on fire now. It looks like the tail's on fire too. I'm okay with that. Two engines, there we go! You see, gentlemen? That's how you shoot down an airplane. You lead your target, you don't try and shoot underneath it. Alright, well, <clears throat> uh, we're repositioning again. Uh, hopefully, if I take a look at the map, into an area where a lot of the traffic has to go. Uh, obviously to squeeze in to Great Britain. This is going to be, hopefully, the square where we do ourselves a lot of killing. That's the plan. We will uh, hopefully have a convoy to sink soon. See you guys in a bit. All right, so it's not much. Looks like it's just a lone freighter. Oh, come on. Give me... Yes, and then we'll have to spin it around. There we go. Okay. So, where's the, um... There we go. I think if we just line it up like that, we should be pretty good. <clears throat> Let's see. Nope. Big ol' miss. Alright, well... That's okay. Half speed ahead. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. That was what I wanted to do. Actually, if we cut our engines, All stop. we should be able to get this shot lined up properly. Provided they don't know we're here now. I don't think they will. And Firing close for close two. enough. That does look a lot better. Let's go investigate what'll happen. 
Hello, freighter. You don't know we're here. Torpedo impact. Perfect. Now you know we're here. That is a big hole. That is a very big hole. <clears throat> I don't think that ship's going anywhere. It says it's still up and floating, though. So we might as well go finish the job. Excuse me, gentlemen. We can go ahead, slow speed ahead. put ourselves up on slow speed too, and sort of adjust our course that away. Course 58, returning to course. Let's raise that up just a little. Ho ho! Yeah, this is not exactly what I want to be doing. <clears throat> Let's get underwater, gentlemen. Because that freighter is rightfully angry at us. Periscope that. There we go. That's the view that I wanted. And I do think that that guy is going to be sinking anyway. One, zero meters. A hole that big. You don't really recover from that. Still, we can uh, tail him. Keep an eye on him. Make sure they go down. And we'll just follow along from underwater. Two, one, ready. Which should be an okay way to do this. Two, two, ready. All stop. Yeah, let's not all stop it. Half speed ahead. Let's keep following. Closing tube two. And I don't I, like. I don't necessarily want to fire off another torpedo. But I might not have a choice. Alright. Well. That should be a hit. We'll just wait. Make sure our crosshairs are going to be, you know, nicely behind the ship. Firing tube like one. so. And hopefully... That, yeah, that torpedo will detonate. And this should be a good shot. I'm liking the looks of that. Torpedo impact. And now that should sink the ship. And let's see, did we get any advancements on either of our missions? No. So that was a pointless shot. Some may say wasted. I would say... There's no such thing as a wasted shot. That's just me. If I take a look at our... Precisely. If I take a look at our subsystems, uh, our torpedo count is doing fairly well. And our fuel is doing okay, too. Um, considering this area of operations, we don't really need to be that concerned with um, conserving fuel. Or shots, really. We can go ahead and All stop. shut that down. And watch as this guy slips into the dark depths below. I'd like to take a look at that torpedo shot. And my word, that's what I'm talking about. No engines left, suckers. Along with a couple of holes. No doubt from our wonderful shooting. So that's what you get. Especially for returning fire. I hope they understand. They probably don't, though. So, I guess, really, we're just going to be kicking around and waiting for something else to come our way. Uh, hopefully, one of the two convoys that we're looking for. Um, you know, we're right where we need to be for these things. Or, though, perhaps moving a bit more... Easterly would be a good idea getting into this area. Um, I mean, we have had good luck there in the past. 
the shallows do kind of concern me. Let's go ahead and rise up so our people don't suffocate. And yeah, I guess that's that's really about it. Um, let me you check real ready. time. And yeah, this this episode certainly took a lot longer in recording time than I had hoped. Traveling, you know, from Africa to Ireland takes a bit of time. I think I'm going to have to leave the video here for today. Let's make sure we're on the surface. Pretty sure we are. No, 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 we're going up. Good, just so everything will be mighty fine with the save. We're still looking for Winston. We will overwrite that selected file. Yes, of course. So guys, a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Um, before I get too far, I am moving next weekend. So, excuse me as I stretch. Um, yeah, there certainly won't be any videos next weekend. I'm going to try and do a Crusader Kings 2 video at some point, either tomorrow or throughout the week. And then, um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be back to normal soon. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. So yeah, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.